Hello and welcome into Founder's Fortune, where it will soon be spring. Well, actually it just changed into spring. It says still that it is winter, but it's actually spring. So, let's get some plants sown. Ooh, Sarah is already working on the strawberries. Wonderful. Hmm, we are once again low on cooked food. Winter was wonderful. We, uh, we survived really well. But, um, I guess... We do need more wheat than what we produced last year. So we'll see if this new bigger wheat field will make things better. Vanessa wants to sit, so we'll have her do that. And uh, Emma researching, right? Well, when you run out of scrolls, you can move on to crystals, okay? Um, Joseph, oh, there you are. I was starting to wonder. He's now working on the tomatoes. Mm -hmm. So, everything is getting sown and uh, Helen was tending to these trees. Right. So she has tended to some of them, but um, let's have her tend to the rest of the sort of a front, well, two front row trees. Mm -hmm. Francisca is rather busy with yep. the farming and stuff. Well, actually not. Mm -hmm. She was going to remove a stump there. Oh, bug infestation already. This is not good. Ah, uh -huh. oh, Sarah is pretty tired. So is Francisca though. But she's already here and I think Sarah might be in bed. So Francisca and Joseph. You two, please handle this. Hopefully you can before it spreads too much. Just one more. infestation over. That is always such a relief. Yep. We did lose like four strawberry plants, but that's fine. We'll sow some more. Mm -hmm. Sarah is already on it. Mm -hmm. Although, mm -hmm. I think I want her to do some cooking first and then sow those strawberries because we only have three cooked food at the moment. Yeah. Francesca can continue working on the healing plants. 
we do need a lot of those too, so Dr. Bernhard can keep busy producing medicine and healing potions. Can? Oh, you can be milked. And uh, are you just one? Yeah, you're just a, a little weirdly shaped from that angle. You can be milked too. And what about... No. Alright. Mm -hmm. Any sheep need shearing? No. So uh, we'll just have Thomas milk those couple of cows. Yep. And Joseph, I would rather have you watering plants than gathering cotton. Yeah. We do get plenty of wool from our sheep. And uh, the food situation honestly needs more looking after at the moment than the, the uh, cloth yep. and wool and cotton situation. Maybe with the extended wheat field, we'll produce enough wheat that we can actually make some beer and have a party this winter. We'll see. That would be nice, but it would raise morale and um, maybe even grant some people their wishes. There are probably, once again, some who wish for a party. Uh, Francisca. Shall we have you help Helen? Or um, maybe Helen can look after all of these trees by herself. It's going to be a bit of a task, but we'll see. Once we get all of these fully grown and producing apples, it'll be wonderful. But until then, it's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, we have some baked apples and uh, cheese and hmm, not a whole lot of cooked food in all. But we are growing quite a few plants, so we'll have more cooked food soon. Mm -hmm. Just hang in there, people. And yeah, we'll actually have Francisca help with the uh, apple trees here. Or the, uh, with the caring for the saplings thing. And um, <clears throat> it is currently thundering outside. Um, so um, mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. Mm -hmm. It. It's loud enough that the mic probably does mm -hmm. pick it up at least a little bit and uh, therefore it's going to be audible on this video, unfortunately. 
can't really do anything about that. So, uh, occasionally, you, uh, you may hear the, uh, thunder. I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that it doesn't get very, very loud. Joseph, why don't you come on over here and equip the Master Farmer's clothes. Become a Master Farmer like Sarah and Franziska. Yep. Yeah, all three of our farmers are masters now. That's cool. We should have some tomatoes, yeah. Somebody just needs to go and uh, bake those tomatoes. And then we'll have like... 20 something, almost 30 more cooked food. That'll tide us over a little bit. And hopefully soon we will also have some uh, strawberries so that we can start baking those cakes. Ooh, trader. Hello. Who are we going to have come over here and do some trading? Joseph, would you please? We'll let you grab a little something to eat, so you don't have to trade on an empty tummy. There you go. Get on over here now. Yeah, trading on an empty tummy wouldn't probably be a very pleasant experience. Hmm. We'll sell the extra clothes and some illness medicine and if we need to some healing potions too we want to get a few scrolls maybe like five we are not too too far off from completing the scroll portion of the shipyard research so yeah we'll get five scrolls and uh, 500 odd coins that works for me and now we can once again rest assured that we can pay people salaries for a while Hopefully, until the next trader visit. Seven scrolls. Not sure if that's going to be enough, actually. But, um, we'll see. Yeah. Hopefully it is going to be enough, and then once, once we have the scroll portion of the research done, we'll have Emma move on to crystals. Yeah. Francisca is done caring for the uh, two back rows of apple tree saplings. Nice. We'll just 
have to try to make sure that people actually do remember to care for them so that eventually they will grow and start producing apples. Once they do, we will have 28 more apple trees to, um, to produce apples for us. Yeah. Then we will probably start making some apple strudel instead of bread because bread takes three wheat and apple strudel takes just one wheat. So it is more sort of feasible yep. if you have a steady supply of apples. It won't take too long for Helen to get mm -hmm. to the next level in mining and uh, fulfill that wish of hers, hopefully. And uh, Vanessa, you go and uh, make your wish come true. Yep. Mm -hmm. That will get you to the next mm -hmm. level of life satisfaction. And will probably get your expectations all in the green. Girl, what are you doing going to sleep in the middle of talking to somebody? Finish your chat and give Helen a hug and then go to bed. I swear this game. Oh. Uh, now you're in the green. Let's have you... um. talk to Thomas though even though you are in the green with your expectations already it doesn't hurt to um, to get one more wish come true Wonderful. We now have strawberries. And hopefully also some strawberry cake. Joseph, you can go bake some of those cakes for people. Yep. And what about these cows over here? Oh, Francisca's coming to milk that one. Well, uh, Conrad can milk the rest of these. And then Thomas, would you shear some sheep? There we go. Children feeling like members of the community, caring for the animals. Sarisa <laughs> milking that one cow. Yep. Let's get some more strawberries harvested and some more cake made. We are going to run out of wheat at some point. 
unfortunately. Yeah, 28 more apple trees would be very, very nice. So I will try to remember to make sure that Helen and Francisca look after these. These are in a few various states of growth. Well, the main thing is that they are all getting looked after. And that at least some of them grow to a full maturity as soon as possible. Yep. Start producing us some apples. Yep. Oh, oh, Helen, you're all the way over here. Dr. Bernhard, ah, oh, we better let Dr. Bernhard catch a few winks of sleep. Then we'll have him come on over and fix Helen's leg. Okay, that's plenty. There we go. And Helen is um going somewhere ah mm -hmm. oh, he's going she's going to bed Francisca leveled up as a forester probably thanks to all that apple tree sapling care uh proud people of the sun would you like some illness medicine? Oh, such a pitiful amount of uh, friendship gain there. Um, right. Don't really have any healing potions to give, and I don't really have any cooked food mm -hmm. to give either. So the rest of the tribes are going to have to wait to get some gifts. Dr. Bernhard. Yep. Are you seriously going to sleep when there's a person here who seriously needs your help? Splint the leg. Crystal and wood, okay. Splint the leg first and then go to sleep and have some food if you're hungry. apples and of course we need more healing plants and tomatoes to be sown the last day of spring hmm well, soon we will have the uh, potato and wheat fields to look after. And uh, for that, we are going to need all three of our farmers. 
we'll see how we do with that. We do need a lot of potatoes and wheat though. Stone and illness medicine, okay. Not too bad. Finishing up, caring for those trees up there. We'll have Helen care for, for these ones down here. They are going to grow up at very different times though. But, oh well. The main thing is that they will get fully grown someday. We are doing fine with the healing plants. Mm -hmm. Dr. Bernhard is, mm -hmm. is, um, capable of, uh, of uh, being as busy as he wants to be. We have enough healing plants mm -hmm. in the storage for that. Let's see, Helen, once you've cared for those apple trees, there are some crystals over there, but they are quite close to some goblins. So... And I'm, I'm not sure exactly which tribe that is. And I don't know how friendly we can remain with all of the tribes at the moment. So these crystals over here are not close to any goblin tribe. Let's have you... Once you've finished caring for those apple saplings, we'll uh, have you gather some of that crystal. Yeah, the thunder out there is kind of, uh, it's fading for a while and then coming back. So I guess, um, yep. I guess it's kind of sort of, um, maybe like a bigger, um, mass of thunder clouds yeah. that is, um, passing over this area or something. Well, in any case, I'm very happy that it's not constantly loud out there just um, on occasion mm -hmm. right oh joseph is going to cook some food and nice well he was but now he's going to do something else huh well, I think this is a good place to save the game and uh, we'll continue from here next time as we finish up with the spring and go into summer and see how our farmers can cope with the massive wheat field and um, also they, well, not so equally massive, but also quite large potato field.
for now though. Thank you so much for spending time with me here on The Mellow. It was lovely to have you. If you'd like to show some support, please leave this video a like and perhaps a comment too. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed, then please do subscribe to conveniently keep up with my content and to show me that you want to keep watching my videos. Remember to be kind to yourself. Have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see you next time.